So you know those days when you get up in the morning and you just feel like you can do anything. Me neither. But what's up people? Ray William Johnson is quitting his show Equals 3. I got all of this and more. Plus I also take a look at some of your comments. So get ready for another FTD News Week in Minutes. Now your question of the day comes from YouTube user Vanshika Hazel and they ask if you could save one famous person that died who would it be? Join in on the discussion guys leave your responses below and big respects to our sponsor Gone Viral TV they stream viral videos directly to your television seven days a week. Now this past week YouTube mega superstar Ray William Johnson released a video called thank you for everything in which he announced that he is leaving he's retiring the show equals three. Well, at least in regards to him being a host, he said that what he's going to do is going to try to cast somebody else to replace him. But if the audience doesn't like it, I guess he's just going to shut down the show completely. But in the almost 15 minute long video, he did voice his concerns about continuing the show. He says that it just wasn't exciting for him anymore to do it, but he still will be doing other projects, possibly other YouTube projects. So who knows? And he also warned the audience, no, 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 it's not like he's dying. So don't be wearing your sad face oh ray is gone no no he's still gonna be around but what does this mean for the youtube community because ray was a very integral part in growing youtube to become what it is today i believe he was actually the first official youtube millionaire like the first person that made a million dollars just on google adsense like if you're watching this video you probably saw an ad play before there's probably an ad that came up there's also an ad at the side or should be and i just really hope that okay it was a genuine decision you know nobody pressured him into doing it because we all know that YouTube is getting so corporate nowadays so what is really going on I even hear speculation that Philip DeFranco is also gonna quit his main show and also Shay Carl so I don't know this may be the year of quitting for many big youtubers or maybe they've banked in enough buck for them to continue to run their businesses without actually being in their main show who knows but it's an interesting time guys and I guess from one content creator to another Ray you definitely will be missed he has millions of followers he definitely was hard working over the years, so he deserves it. Now on to another celebrity, but this time a celebrity scandal. Jamaican dancehall and reggae superstar Vibes Cartel was convicted of murder. Now this high profile trial that lasted 65 days, it was actually the longest running trial in Jamaican court history. Police had to barricade off the public wearing riot gear. That's how intense this trial got. Now Vibes Cartel and three other co-defendants were found guilty in killing an associate back in 2011. Now some people are even poking some fun at the fact that he did undergo some skin bleaching where he did lighten up his skin. So they were saying, oh, if he was still black, this trial would have been over in like the first day but with all those jokes and poking fun aside if you did the crime you have to do the time it's what the law says you definitely had a massive following like if you're born in Jamaica you know who vibes cartel is if you're half Jamaican you know who vibes cartel is if you're a piece of Jamaican you know all about vibes cartel all right now so it's time to take a look at some of the comments that you guys left this week over on the Twitter Sawyer McDuffie says I can also write on my skin Sawyer McDuffie is another one of my subscribers that has the same condition of the lady that can write in her skin and then watch it disappear yo that is crazy I had no idea that so many people had this condition now I feel left out I want it too not really that looks painful actually Joseph Ray says my entire family uses Facebook and what's the big deal or does he mean my entire family uses one Facebook account because it was left on the same video of those twins that do everything together they even share a Facebook account and then they share a boyfriend as well which is weird but so what if your family members use Facebook I know it's awkward if they're like a family member adds you but yeah it's a modern society even my grandma uses Facebook so you just have to live with it Joseph Yao 47 Queen commented and said I wish people would stop seeing girls who want all always be paid on date. People are gonna stop saying it when it stops happening. <laughs> I'm just saying, people. Jose Aaron Cibia on the Facebook wrote, LOL, I was thinking about this a few days back. What the heck happened? This was in response to the post that I made about 
what happened to Coney 2012? Like, did they find him? Did he die? Was he ever even a thing? What if it was all a scam? I don't know. I never heard anything about Coney after Coney 2012. Somebody help me out here. Well, that concludes another episode of FTD News Week in Minutes. In my last episode, you were asked if you could go back in time, what would you tell your younger self? This is what you guys commented and said. Thanks again for tuning into the episode throughout the week. Don't forget, you can hit me up on the Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And if you want to keep looking fresh, grab your Fresh Till Death merchandise. The link to the shop, as well as everything else I spoke about in this video, are below in the video description. So have a good weekend, people. Enjoy. Life is too short to be miserable. Well, life can be long, actually, except if you die early, but life is long, but okay, whatever. Just enjoy the weekend. Anyways, I'll see you guys on Monday. I'm the Rice Said Man Kentan, the original natural, Bon Jamaican, Black Man. Boom. I'm out.